Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and tonight's video is a little bit different. Uh, tonight's video is happening because I was contacted by an attorney, a lawyer, a lawman. He said I would like to present some evidence, some evidence of my blending ability, some whiskey blending evidence, and I said, Sustained. I do not object to that, counsel. And, and he said, that is good, because here are three whiskeys I would like you to try. Gene Nassif from Cat's Eye Distillery over in Iowa. He's got a little, little good gig going on the side. He's a lawyer. And then, then he's, he blends whiskey and he bottles it and sells it for money, which is pretty amazing. He said, I'd like to send you a few samples if you don't mind. I said, me? Me? You sure you got the right ADHD whiskey? He sent me three different whiskeys and they're very interesting sounding. Haven't tried them yet, but I'm looking forward to doing it. Looking forward to trying them so hard. When he, when he sent me these, these, um, these samples, he told me what they were and I said, Gene, these sound interesting. And he said, Matt, all I do is interesting. I'll put a link in the description below where you can find these products if you'd like to try them yourself. Um, I don't know how this is going to go because these are very different things I've never tried before. But if they're going to send stuff to me, I'm going to drink it. And that goes for just about anything that's not toxic or human fluids. Yeah, just about anything else. This is the Cat's Eye Distillery, six year Kentucky corn whiskey. And it's not no 80 proof corn whiskey. This is no run of the mill average beater corn whiskey that you might pick up over at the corn whiskey market on the corner of boring and ugh. This is 125 proof freaking corn whiskey aged in some used barrels from a pretty well-known distillery. Cream corn. Sweet cream corn. Like you sprinkled sugar on top of cream corn. I love creamed corn. As a child, my mother would say, Matthew, Matthew, the food is ready. I'd say, mother, what is for supper? And she'd say, corn. And I would say, is it creamed corn? And she would say, no. And I'd say, son of a bitch, I love creamed corn. Look at it swirl. Corn whiskey, 125 proof corn whiskey, swirls very nicely. Getting some, like a fruit cocktail, like one of those, um, like one of those mixed fruit cups that you get at the store and they're this sealed and you pull the plastic off of it and it's like, I'm also getting Frosted Flake cereal. Frosted Flake cereal on the nose. Here you smell. What do you think? You got Frosted Flakes on there? Little Frosted Flakes? They're great! Wow. Finish is still going. That tastes like a buttered cornbread muffin with some stank on it. Some pepper on it too, some pepper. Like a crushed black pepper. Like they took the grinder with the frosted flakes and just <laughs> Just tell me when. Just tell me when you'd like me to stop. Still go? Okay, that's good. That's enough. It coats the mouth exceptionally well. This is wonderful. I enjoy that. America. Hydration. It's key. Moving 
on to the, the next whiskey. Now, this is going to be a little bit different than the other one. This is a 12-year-old MGP light whiskey finished in a, a rye cask? Is that right? Finished in a rye barrel. 136 proof. So suck that up to kill a virus. That smells, that smells nice. What is that? What is that glorious smell? Now I've never had light whiskey before. I've never tried light whiskey. Um, I know that light whiskey traditionally is distilled over 160 proof and under 190 proof, yeah between 160 and 190, traditionally aged in uncharred or untoasted uh, oak barrels. So the color traditionally, that's the third time I said tra traditionally, which isn't traditionally what I would do, but um, the color is typically lighter because it's not in the new charred oak barrels. So this son of a mother is 136 proof and then they finished it in a rye barrel. Rye. Because Gene says he likes to do interesting stuff. And this sounds pretty interesting. Candy bar, like a like a three musketeers. Or a Milky Way. Milky Way? Maybe like a hmm. It's very like a milk chocolate. And a nougat. It's a very light aroma. Bright and light is what I would classify this son of a bitch as. It's a light, bright nose. A high, a high proof broad. High class, high proof. Meow. Let's see if the cat's eye will impress this guy when it's finished in rye. Goodbye. Oh. oh. Was not expecting that. You know what the fudge you're doing. Goodness griefus. This is egregiously good. Wow, this is one of the, this is, look how light in color it is. I wasn't expecting that much viscosity out of something this light color. This is like a mobile one synthetic, fully synthetic. Right out of the, right out of the court. It hits the palate and explodes with flavor. Like, like a surface to air missile impacting your taste buds from overseas. You didn't even see it coming. You couldn't intercept it. And then kaboom! Flavor bomb. Oh. I'm not just saying this because he sent it to me. Because honestly, <clears throat> if, this, if these weren't good, I'd just tell him, hey, dude, I don't like these. I probably shouldn't review them. Because I'm not very good at lying. Except for about like, you know, stuff about how much food I ate. Like, who ate all the Oreos? Must have been the kids. Boom, lie. It was me. This might be one of my favorite things I've had in a long time. Dude. Yeah. You get the rye spice on the back of the palate towards the finish. The finish is extremely long. It's long. It's strong. It's down to get the freak shit on. So, Gene. Gene, can you blend me another one of these? I could see myself enjoying this often and pouring this for people. This is a. This is something you pour for people. 
a potato chip. Try some of this. And they're like, I don't know how I'm feeling about a light whiskey from Cat's Eye Distillery. Pour this for a friend and watch him go, what the mother is that? And you'll be like, that is 12 year old light whiskey finished in a rye cask from Cat's Eye Distillery. It's the cat's ass, as I like to say. Do you remember Tara Reed? She was an actress. This is Tara Reed in her prime. The corn whiskey is Tara Reed now. Definitely doable. Still hot at 125 proof. Um, but if you had the option, you'd reach for this Tara Reed first. For sure. His verdict is in. And I'm guilty for loving it. Oh my mother! What? <laughs> okay. Alright, what is this? I forget. Uh -huh. I just took a smell of that without even telling you what it was. And I just lost my damn mind. This is a five year Polish rye whiskey finished in a red wine barrel. It's 117 proof. It kicks you right square in the chin with its heel. And you're like, what the heck? heck? What the heck? It smells good. Floral, very floral. You're in a greenhouse and you find the prettiest looking flowers and you stuff your face into them. Oh, bam. You smell them and you're like, is there fruit growing on this pretty flower? And then the, the, uh, I almost said bartender. <laughs> Weird. The florist is like, yeah, there's fruit growing from those beautiful flowers. Like you stuffed your face into your garden. With fruit. was a fun ride it's still going that was a curvy road weird that was strange strangely it almost tastes carbonated but it's not this is good this is really good the first thought that I had when that the first initial taste I got I was like is that beer am I tasting beer that was a twisty, curvy road. Huh. I like this. That was almost overwhelming. Overwhelming flavor. This is a winner for sure. I didn't know what to expect going into these. I half expected them to not be good for some reason. Totally wrong. Totally wrong. Weird. I've never tried anything like this. This is very unique and very different. And I like it a lot. It's like... It's a very heavy palette though, which is so weird to me. Maybe it's just coming off of the light whiskey and the corn whiskey that this is so abundantly flavorful. It coats the mouth and it just... This is a thinker. And I'm, I'm not good at thinking too well, but I'm still gonna think about it. Root beer. I'm getting a root beer. Yeah, I've never got I've never got root beer on the nose of anything before. But that's definitely what that is. Root beer, like a A and W a root beer, or like a Barks. I'm more than pleasantly surprised by these by these three samples he sent me. I'm basically blown away. The corn whiskey, also good. But the other two are on a different level in my book. And my book counts because I wrote it. Like, comment, subscribe. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. And like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on being different. 
and unique and friggin sending that stuff to me because I like it a lot thanks Gene for all the samples they're fantastic I appreciate it and um, I owe you a hug and a high five